you're welcome everyone in this new lab development video about building an auto battle game in this video we're going to make it so our kill feed is team colored because right now when we end match it's not clear uh, which team uh, what team uh, finished the combat and which did not I mean uh, it's not clear who won and who lost so we're going to make it so we clearly understand uh, what is the result of the match so as you can see here we don't have any team color we're going to make it so the background color is of the color of the team which uh, made the kill and for that it's quite easy we just need to open up our end match entry and in there we want to promote uh, this color and opacity uh, in the function up update match icon in here uh, we're setting the color of the image background we want to promote that to a variable we're gonna call that team color and we're gonna make this expose on spawn and back in our end match displayer in the display end match result function we have a create widget where we create the end match entry we want to refresh that node it's asking for a team color and we're going to plug that here by default this is going to be uh, yeah, like black why not add over our in-game HUD and now we're gonna grab the in player I, I mean grab the game state and get the team color of a player and we want that one and this way we're gonna have a better time understanding what's going on in the game I will just check how it behaves red lost and blue one but it was the other way around Do we have to plug the against player here? That will be quite strange. Um, not that one, that one. So I think red is gonna lose here. Red is gonna lose and blue has won. So apparently we have to Apparently we have to plug against player in the parameter which is quite strange. So in here it's gonna read red one. Yep, red one and blue and blue lost. So and what happens if we draw? We'll see what happens. So I think we have our system in place which detects the draw indeed. And maybe we'll have to improve the readability of the difficult uh, of the uh, maybe the um, icons we're using are not quite remarkable, which makes it so it's hard. It's maybe a bit hard to determine if it's a loss, a draw, or a win. But I guess we could just change the opacity of our icon, and maybe change the icon size a bit and that will make it way better uh, but uh, we won't be doing this in that video because I think we can safely assume that you can update that icon by yourself I will just make that a little bit bigger maybe just to see how it behaves Okay, that, that's quite that's way too big so that that's why we don't care much about this we can tweak these values uh, whenever we want like this I'm gonna make this yeah way smaller and just before we wrap up the video I just wanted to promote some stuff into variables into uh, not yeah into not the unit but the dummy units regarding the previous the previous video if we want 
to have more control over what's going on and change more easily we're gonna promote um, we're gonna select here the mm, so in the BP dummy unit when we said the drag state the drag state uh, we're gonna grab the emitter template here uh, and we're gonna select uh, what emitter we want and we're gonna use drop uh, both times but actually we're gonna promote that this into a variable and we're gonna call this on drag and the other one is gonna be called on dropped and we're gonna add a particle at the beginning of that name particle on drag particle on mm, particle drag and particle drop where we'll call, call them and they're gonna be metrics and we're also promote the scale into a variable um, particle scale like this and what else can we actually modify here can we put into variables into metrics so now we have these metrics here and we can change them whenever we want so I guess that's gonna be it um, and before we and yeah yeah that that's gonna wrap up the video so hope you guys enjoyed it and hope to see you in the next one bye bye